No, we didn't get any answers on what movie uh, Hackerling has watched with her father. But I went on to Amazon's Prime Video afterwards, and it was like, Movies we think you'd like. Knowing. <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> Hi, everybody. And I watched it. Dude, I honestly, I tried and then I, I was like, no, <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> no, Amazon, I didn't like it. Hi, everybody. Grim Scrub, thank you for the 10 months. Zilv, thank you for the 17 months. Shibo, thank you for the 18, nine months. Thank you, thank you. And welcome, welcome, all new and returning viewers. It's good to see you guys. Dickens, thank you for the four months. Thank you, thank you. Swim out, swim out. What movie? We don't know. Don't start. Please don't start. We don't know what movie it was. We will never know what movie it was. It's not a real movie. It's a pretend thing that Hat Girling decided to fuck with me on. <laughs> oh, congratulations on hell diving, Easy Squeezy. Sambrian, thank you for the entire year at Tier 3. Thank you very, very much. We don't know, like, genuinely, Shiba, there are no details. The only real solid stuff we got was there's a light in a forest, and then midway through the discussion, she started describing an exact scene from Knowing, but she still denies that it's Knowing. <laughs> Spitboom, thank you so much for the two months. Sarasvan, thank you so much for gifting two subs. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and Jixen, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, everybody. Hi! Thank you, thank you. Thanks for watching on YouTube. <laughs> oh, thank you, Seth. I appreciate that. Uh-oh. It's gonna autoplay. No, it's straight back into the theme of Laura. No! No more! <laughs> Not again. Badger, thank you for the 18 months. Thank you, thank you. Da, ba, da, 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 da. <laughs> Ow. Target, thank you so much for the three months in 1998 Honda Prelude. Thank you so much for the seven months. Thank you both. Was I able to see the eclipse? It only was in America. So, no. <laughs> da, 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 da. See any good photos? Yeah, sure. Ba, ba, da, ba, 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 da, 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 da. Did I look hard enough? You're not supposed to look. <laughs> Ow. Kelly, welcome back. Thank you again, Ochino. You know. Ow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel a little bit better. Thank you. Nidergator, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome. If I had to move to Scotland or Ireland, which would I choose? You make it sound like I wouldn't want to live to, uh, in either of those if you had to. Um, I actually would like to live in Scotland, I think. Yeah, places I wouldn't... or I would like to live, I think. Like, I don't know which one I would choose. I would probably have to, you know, spend extra time there and see if I really liked it long term. But probably, like, Scotland, um, would be one. And then maybe Spain, if I could get my, my, my language better. I'd like to spend some time in Japan. I don't know if I'd want to live in Japan. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. I've heard really nice things about, like, um, Sweden and Finland. I don't know for sure, but I would like to definitely go see them. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, I have a very small amount of Spanish. Hi, Jinru. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Welcome. <laughs> All right, Zank Mart. Not so much these days, unfortunately. Um, huh. I put this on here, or was this my fault? This is my fault. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> A house in New Orleans. Yeah, my grandfather on my dad's side, so, you know, not my mother's family, which is Chinese. He was Scottish. Of many a poor boy. Weaponized prayer! Thank you so much for the two months! Thank you, thank you! <laughs> bow, bow, bow. I found a page full of Stardew mods that I'm going to install, so I'm gonna be up to 70-something, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I think also what I might do is install a movement speed mod, because I think the default movement speed plus time in a day is totally fine for vanilla, but when you have... When you have two new maps that you've added with a total of, like, 30 NPCs, you do not have time to do anything. <laughs> I don't have time to visit both towns anymore. <laughs> Just play over 10 years in game. Oh, that's reasonable, yes. <laughs> Is the town's vanilla? They're mods. Hi, welcome! Beautiful singing, thanks. I was trying really hard. <laughs> Louise in the Ocean? That was uh, Deep Blue by Miracle of Sound. It's about Subnautica. Hey, that's what I strive for, Mage Pie, to be absolutely average. <laughs> what I have done. The first game that got me into gaming? God, I don't know. The first games I ever played were, uh, Paperboy? And I think, no, I think actually it might have been Paperboy. And maybe Sonic. Labelist, welcome! The Slime TV, thank you for the sub! Thank you very, very much! Paperboy is impossible. Paperboy is evil. <laughs> Greetings, Otoin! Oto one, even Ote one? <laughs> and Mind Harvester. It's going good. Thank you, Lifeless. I'm having a good time. I had some gingerbread today, so life is life is pretty nice. I ended up calling my dad because no 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 matter how independent I am, every now and again I'm like, I don't know what to do about this. I'm going to call my parents. <laughs> It's like, Dad, it was raining really hard, so I couldn't mow the lawn, but now that grass has grown a bunch and it's too high to mow, what do I do? <laughs> Dad, help. <laughs> Get a goat? That's a good idea. <laughs> Da, 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 da. 
I don't remember which Paperboy it was, but Paperboy has such a banger theme. Hold on, I'm gonna go find it. Uh... This is the N NES one, right? Did you guys ever see... Oh, uh, what was what was the name of the group that used to do like gaming skits and they did one for Paperboy? Oh, Mega 64, I think. Have I played Content Warning? I have played it once. I'm hoping to play it a couple of times this week, hopefully. Fingers crossed. It was very it was very buggy for me. Every time we went back to the lobby, I lost all microphone sounds, both in and out. <laughs> Mew, thank you for the eight months. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, no, Mega64, they used to do like skits that were in public and they got kicked out of places a lot. I, remem I remember like they used to do... One guy would walk around as the Resident Evil 4 merchant trying to sell things to people in a mall or whatever. Elf Twitch, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I will keep that in mind. Thank you, Lifeless. <laughs> Dear Rana, thank you for the entire year. <laughs> thank you very much. Are we doing anything today? Yes, we're hopefully playing Botany Manor. Which is... um Wait. Sorry. Twitter is being weird. When is it not? There it is. Okay. Yeah, which is, it's like, it's like a... There were plants in it, which is the reason why I looked. But then it's, I think it's mostly a puzzle game. So if my brain starts melting, I'm gonna switch. <laughs> you can tell you. Thank you for the five months. Thank you very, very much. The moment you went out of the ship? Wait, in what, sorry? Oh, and content warning? That's interesting. I didn't get any performance issues. Oh, you're welcome, Lemon Twist. I've been I've been enjoying people playing Lifeline. It looks like it's doing the rounds again. Like I saw I saw Iron Mouse played it, and then I saw Connor played it. And I enjoyed Connor playing it because obviously he has an accent like I do. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that he got stuck on Gustav's room as well, but it's for some reason she wasn't saying Jonathan's room in response. She was saying shower room Right gridline, but if someone can play hell divers, they shouldn't have an issue with content warning <laughs> Yeah, and then she registered go up the stairs as Gustav, which is very funny <laughs> Did you hear Wesker just then? Holy shit, dog, are you okay? You have respiratory issues? Do I need to take you to the vet? Jesus Christ. <laughs> you didn't hear him? He honked so goddamn loud. <laughs> it was it was really, really loud. And then he just kinda like gave me the side eye like I was being inconsiderate. <laughs> Silly puppy. Alright, what else have we got in here? No! It added a yellow! <laughs> I like how I listened to something to express that my dad hates that song and they were like, put it on your playlist? Okay. <gasps> Lifeless, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, thank you. That's very kind. And Moro, thank you for the sub. stop it. Thank you for the 67 months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Isn't the 7800X3D better for, the, for gaming than the 7950X3D? In theory, if all is working as it should, then the 7950X3D and the 7800X3D should be about the same for gaming. Um, but every now and again, there's like some weirdness going on with the core parking or whatever that causes a problem for the 7950X3D. Not so much now. But yeah, no, like... In theory, on paper, the 7950X3D should be the same or better. <laughs> the 
I do 30% more DPS, but I was already getting instantly killed by most of them. <laughs> Should you get Baldur's Gate 3 or Cyberpunk? Okay, do you want... Um... A, li a, a live... Or sorry, a real-time action-based gameplay thing, unless I guess you play a Netrunner, with... A kind of, like, depressingly toned story? Or do you want... A... Uh, a character-focused, party-based, turn-based game with a not-necessarily-depressing story. <laughs> Dr. Nemo, thank you for the 16 months. Thank you, thank you. Both games are really, really good. Um, I love both of them so much. I would say, honestly, for me, I think Cyberpunk will leave the lasting impression in terms of how much I will think about the story because when you boil it down, the story of Baldur's Gate 3 is not particularly complex. There's not really a whole lot of moral questioning going on in there. Um, whereas Cyberpunk, I could sit there and debate the choices that I made and the things that led up to what happened and so on and so forth. Cola, welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. I would say Baldur's Gate Three is super fun, um, party-based stuff. If you if you want something like you know the feels that Dragon Age or Mass Effect gave you in a turn-based environment, although you know Origins is still turn-based, I would say Baldur's Gate Three. If you would like. A somewhat depressing story that makes you question every, every choice you make. Um, and some really, really incredible action-based gameplay, Cyberpunk. Do you know what the difference is between your and your? Yeah, do you? <laughs> do you know basic English, streamer? <laughs> Roljan, thank you so much for gifting tongue sobs! Holy moly! Thank you, thank you! <laughs> thank you very, very much. Is the expansion worth it? I would say so. Um, I would say actually the story of Phantom Liberty, outside of a few high points in the main story, is probably better than the main game. It's the same as The Witcher, or as in The Witcher 3, where uh, Blood and Wine and Heart of Stone have a tighter storytelling experience, which they benefit from compared to the main game. Thank you for the eight months. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very, very much. And Zenchiki, thank you so much for the 11 months. Thank you very much. Thank you, Spike. Ow. Off duty, Bill. Thank you for the 32 months. Thank you very, very much. So I'm sorry if I if that didn't really help, Easy Squeezy, but they are very different games, and depending on the kind of experience that you want right now, one will suit you better than the other. There's Dragon's Dogma 2 as well. Yes, there is. I would recommend the other two games over Dragon's Dogma 2 for now, because they're probably going to give a bunch of updates for DD2. Which issue, Linky? They did a bunch of performance patches on the third act. Ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -da -da. I don't understand. Hold on a second.
Hold on a second, I'm providing help. <laughs> There we go. Um. There we go. <laughs> I was I was praising Gog. To someone. <laughs> and entertainment, thank you so much for the five months. Forgotten Death Dreams, thank you for the 16 months. Off Duty Bill, thank you for the 32 months. I think that was everything, right? And Domino Way, I got you as well. I, I remember I got you. What was I saying? Gog, Gog, not God. <laughs> On Gog. <laughs> yeah, Gog is great. Um, very good distribution platform, especially for old games. They take a lot of old games, make them run better on uh, old OSs. Sorry, new OSs. Um, very, very nice distribution because it is often DRM free. I have like 18 games on GOG. <laughs> yeah, and it is it is run by CD Project. I was going to say something, but I don't remember what it was now. I had a point I wanted to make about something else and I've completely forgot what it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Song title, this is Pay For This by Diana Gowland? Goland? Yeah, Hackerling's got you. What was the previous song? I don't remember. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Forget Her by Redbox. That's what played last. I was gonna say something about knowing fuck off. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Why are you like this? Hey, Fire Chuck. <laughs> you have a hundred time, almost a hundred times my GOG count. That's crazy. I need to use GOG more. I fell for the convenience trap of Steam, and I often get things there, but stuff is like very worth getting on a uh, GOG if you can. Yeah, I mostly buy old games on GOG just because of the uh, way they support them. When, <laughs> when, when, when is Black and White coming to GOG? It's never coming to GOG because there's something fucky going on with the rights. Like there's there's something very weird going on with the rights to that game. Like Microsoft is doing something odd. Maybe Lionhead. I don't know. Well, Lionhead doesn't exist, but you know what I mean. Some something is stopping that game from being like polished and and redistributed. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think GOG is better for older games because most new games have some form of DRM with them. But if I was gonna buy like something like Dragon Age Origins again, I'd get it on uh, GOG. Same with like Baldur's Gate 2, 1, so on and forth. Now I've decided to play Female V or Male V. I really like the voice performance of Female V for what it's worth. Da -da.
Yeah, it does. It does make it kind of weird though, because I end up starting to read like romantic overtones between her and Johnny, which I don't think they intended. <laughs> Do do you keep in mind that it does affect unlike Baldur's Gate, it does affect who you can romance. Female V gets Judy and River, whereas male V gets Panam and the bandmate who's Carrie! Carrie! There we go. <laughs> I was just down bad for Johnny, that's true. I love it when they call me mean names and joke about the STDs that they probably have. <laughs> it's so attractive. <laughs> no, genuinely, I think Johnny would have been a very unlikable character if it hadn't been for, for Keanu Reeves. <laughs> like, he, he would not have been nearly as popular as he was if it wasn't for the fact he was being played by Keanu. <laughs> Even Keanu couldn't save that character for you. I disliked him at first, but there's like one scene. This scene, this scene, this motherfucker, he, he's such a dick, but then, but then look, he crawls into your goddamn, that damnable smile. It just, just instantly was like that goddamn smile, dude. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so doofy, and I love it. <laughs> Doesn't look real. Here is like a slightly less surreal look. I have a feeling that one was edited. This is like a proper in-game screenshot. There you go. It's still just as doofy. It's the same smile. <laughs> yeah, this is the menu theme from the original Dragon's Dogma. Am I feeling better? Yes, I am actually much less tired today, which is nice. My other one that I really enjoy uh, is when, like, V's trying to figure out how to use, like, an old school phone. And he, like, taps you and, and, and holds it up to, like, holds up to his ear and then grins at you. That's a good smile, too. It's from the anime? No, it's not. It, this was originally the menu theme. Um, but it got taken out when Dark Arisen came out. As far as I'm aware... <laughs> am I about to get gaslit by chat? <laughs> no, streamer. No, it was never in the opening, streamer. <laughs> yeah, this is the original menu music. <laughs> No, one man. The only way to get the menu song back is to mod it. <laughs> why? Why does Lime Bot? Why is Lime Bot switching it back and forth by Azure by Azura? <laughs> What is the song? This is, uh, Into Free. Dangan. Hi, Contender. <laughs> What's my favorite opening music for a game? I mean, this has to be pretty close, right? 
If not this, then I would say, uh... Mm. Maybe Vigil? Which I think is the main menu music for Mass Effect 1. Very different vibe, but I could just sit there and, like, disassociate to it. <laughs> Oblivion's intro is great. so much for the 33 months. Thank you very, very much. Oh. <laughs> but no, I don't want to be depressed today. Please. Dikerism is kind of like the you version of a Monster Hunter game. <laughs> the, the first game was Dragon's Dogma, and then they added Dikerism, which added a bunch of endgame stuff, some quality of life things, um, just a shit ton of content. It's kind of like going from Monster Hunter Try to Monster Hunter 3 U. It seems to be a Capcom thing. <laughs> We'll probably do it again for Dragon's Dogma 2, to be fair. Uh-oh. My arm is itchy. Leon was licking it earlier. Is it time for an allergic reaction? I love those. I'm gonna pop an antihistamine just in case. <laughs> Do I have an EpiPen? It's not that- it's not severe enough. It's literally just like, I get uh, a rash or something. And then if I let it, like, get worse and worse, it becomes discoid eczema, which is fun. Hi Judy, welcome! Did I ever play Outer Worlds? I did! I really liked Outer Worlds for, like, most of the first planet. And then everything after that felt kind of shallow, and I really didn't like the leveling and gun systems. I was not a fan of Outer Worlds in the end. Which is weird, because it started off very strongly for me, and then just kind of, like, became meh. How about Outer Wilds? I love Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds is great. <laughs> did I play the expansion? I did, yes. It was difficult for me though, because I'm not very good at horror games. They scare me. No, you cannot advertise drugs on TV here. What's the name of the music? It is the Phantom Liberty main song from Cyberpunk. Yeah, it's, you, you, you cannot... That was one of the things that I found really weird when I went to America. I was watching TV and an ad would come on being like, Yo, are you suffering from these? You should try this drug. Here's a list of the side effects. Ask your doctor. Very bizarre. <laughs> do, 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 do. Mm 
<laughs> yeah, that was very bizarre. The other things that were weird to me when I went to America was the bread and cheese all tasted different, and so did the milk. Um... Also, a lot of American washers and dryers are top loaders, whereas a lot of the ones here, you load the front. Another weird one that I noticed. <laughs> like, I've spoken to Americans and they've been like, yeah, the idea of loading your, your laundry into the front is strange. And I'm like, but that's just normal here. <laughs> what about guns in Walmart? I don't know if I visited a Walmart while I, while I was there. You guys are moving to front ones? Oh, that's cool. Where did I go? I went to New York and... Uh... Pennsylvania? No. Yeah, with P. Maybe it was Pennsylvania. I don't remember. East Coast, either way. I think I went to Maryland, too. Did see the Nintendo store, yes. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Are you guys ready to play video games? I think I'm ready to play video games, just about. Let's see. Da, da, da. Play what? <laughs> Streamer, you can't play video games here. That's disgusting. Alternatively, we could just lo uh, mod Stardew Valley for the next two hours. That'd be fun. about plants made with unity of course it is oh, oh it really didn't like me tabbing out oh let me just get it set up before i mess around with with capturing it oh god music uh, graphics Sorry, that's quite funny. Hold on. <laughs> Let me show you. I find stuff like this kind of cute. I need to lower Limo down too. And zoom. That's about where we usually are, right? Maybe like that. I'll do. Da -da -da -da. No, I wasn't laughing at TA, I was laughing at this. <laughs> UI options, graphics, quality 5. Muffin, thank you for the entire year. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't remember what's better, fa, sma, or ta. Hello, Loni, thank you for the 39 months. Thank you, thank you. And Cosmic Wheeze, thank you for the two months. Ah. Uh. Ah, now we're on UI Gra options graphics 5. All right. They're all kind of shit. No. All you metrics, love those. Ooh, Romulus, thank you for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Do re mi fa sma ti ta ti da. <laughs> yep, that's the scale I remember. I don't think these boxes are meant to go up to 4K resolution because this looks okay, but these look blurry. I mean, I can turn A off if it looks bad to you guys. Mm. I 
can I can leave that on for now, but if it annoys me, I'm gonna turn it off. Spectre, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, thank you. Motion blur off? Was there motion blur? I don't see it. Uh, is it under accessibility? Oh, motion sickness. Um, I don't see it. Oh, and Roxy, thank you so much for the 420. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm so sorry for missing that there. Oh, no, no worries. I'll try and remember to do it next time. Sorry, I, I stopped playing music now. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, let me minimize that down. <laughs> oh god, it's loud. <gasps> Somerset! I I know that. Oh, Christ. Okay, the field of view was a bad idea. <laughs> okay, let me turn down my audio and turn down the field of view. <laughs> did Kaji, thank you so much for the three months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> da, 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 da. It's better. I drove my tractor through your race stack last night. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Da, 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 da. I don't know if I'll need to turn on my fans, but I will just in case. Oh, I can. I can. Ins, 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 ins. Lady Arabella, we're so happy to have you back at Botany Manor. I hope you had a lovely trip. In your absence, I'm afraid some things in the manor have deteriorated. Though I can assure you we tried our best to keep- sorry, assure you, we tried our best to keep things in order. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much today. From Bennett. Rotating. Rotating. Ah, thank you, Strudel. Open Herbarium. Dear Arabella Green, thank you once again for submitting your book proposal, Forgotten Flora. Please send this empty herbarium back to us once you have completed your research, and we'll be in touch with a potential offer. Sincerely, Mayflower Publishing House. Ooh. Oh, I have to fill in the maps. Clues. Ooh, okay. All right. I dig it. Da, 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 da. Oh, my bank just emailed me to let me know that they're going to start send, like applying fees. Wow. That's amazing. I love fees. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So I turned on volumetrics, and apparently, what that meant was just everything is f fuzzy. <laughs> this is a very steamy greenhouse. Do you think I should turn it off? Not see shit. It's gas. I'll see what it's what it's like when I when I. Oh. Inspect pot with soil. It says I can WASD, but I can only A and D. All right, whatever. 
Anonymous, thank you for giving bank fees a sub. Thank you very much. Place pot on saucer, add soil to pot. Plant a seed, water the seed. I don't know, that sounds kind of complicated. <laughs> seed. Ah! I want to grow the windmill wart to filter the smoggy air. Oh, it's intentional in my conservatory. But I'll need to research its temperature requirements first. Add clue. Okay. Pool. But what if, what if I just plant it anyway? And water it? I'm making it. Good. What's this? Is this temp- It is temperature! Okay, but I need to figure out the temperature. Somerset falls victim to industrial smog. I can barely see! Horse bus drivers refuse to work in these conditions. Oh no. Postcard from Marianne. Dearest Arabella, on my hike I came across the- I hate your handwriting. The windmill wart, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Some locals told me the flower bud has air purifying qualities. But due to its bespoke temperature requirements, the plant rarely blooms. Perhaps the flower could help with the smog pollution in your conservatory. Your friend and peer, Marianne. Okay. So that means it needs to be fairly cold, right? Uh, tracking clues can help you organize and validate your research. Okay. Add clue. Boost card. Gotcha. I'm puzzling. Ideal soil temperatures for Mediterranean wildflowers. Uh... But it said it couldn't grow in Sicily, right? Hmm... The windmill wart is a volcanic flower. Oh, so maybe it actually needs it really fucking high. Okay, 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 okay. So... Sicily volcanic flowers need to be at 60 degrees. Holy shit! I'm gonna boil to death in here. Alright, let's go. 60 degree. Cool. I learned. No <laughs> wonder it's fucking Stevie, yeah. Hello, are you gl growing well? Seems to be growing great. So sm Oh, I'm not allowed to leave until I grow my flower. I, I put it at 60. What more do you want? Work, work, work. Volcanic wildflower. Sicily 60. Yeah, I got it right. Oh, do I need to water it again, maybe? No? Maybe, maybe I need to put it... <gasps> What's this? Open heat vent. Oh! Yeah! Grow! Grow! <laughs> I gamed it. Oh, damn. What a powerful plant. <laughs> Fixed it. The windmill wart naturally grows in volcanic soil, which is why it requires a soil temperature of 60 degrees. The bud contains air purifying qualities, so the flower can filter its environment from dense smog. Aw, oh, look at it. It goes, it goes around and around and around. Da da da. Da da da. Da 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 da. Doo doo dee doo. Doo doo dee dee doo. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> Limebot says, Ray, I hope Limes gets meaner every day, Lime Shy. 
Who taught her that? <laughs> I want to draw the nature. the game volume, is it okay? Neat. I'm currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell. Game playable in VR? I don't know actually. <laughs> Pretty. Can you imagine how much like care and maintenance this place takes? I'm getting stressed just thinking about it. to jump. It will let me jump. Just pay people to do it? That's fair. If you if you if you live here, you are absolutely paying people to maintain your shit. <laughs> Duck. Why is the bot wishing me meaner? I don't know. I guess she learned it from you. Oh. What are you doing? Good boy. Are you implying that Cammy likes it when women are mean to him? We'll give you that idea. <laughs> duck. I got an achievement for inspecting a duck, just so you guys know. My dearest Arabella, I hope this letter finds you well as you set off for London on your important trip. The thought of you working in the bustling city, working on your ambitions, both excites and worries me. Time has indeed passed, and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring to me. I had never imagined all those years ago that we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade about such endeavours. I look forward to hearing about your progress, and of course let me know how I can be of assistance upon your return. Your loving sister, Elizabeth. Thanks, Elizabeth. Do I just leave these letters strewn all over the place? <gasps> what am I growing today? Oh. oh, we don't know yet. We don't have any other seats. Okay, never mind. So when they said the manor kind of got away from them a little bit while I was away, they let a fucking tree grow in here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Taunton to London, pa London Paddington. I've been to Taunton. And London Paddington. And issued for return journey first class elderly discount applied. <laughs> if I'm this rich, why did they not look after my house properly? Lady Arabella Green, I am pleased to let you know that your family tree is complete. <laughs> it's a literal tree! Carefully tracing the history of your lineage. 
As per your request, I have altered the customary presentation now displaying the maiden names of the ladies in your family rather than their current names acquired through marriage. Should you require any further adjustments or have additional t- inquiries, I remain at your service. Robert Hinchley... I read that as gynecologist. <laughs> Genealogist! <laughs> Mal Winters, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Oh, no, this is the family tree. Gotcha. Isn't this nice? <gasps> Seeds! I came across the full... Bulgaria while I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. I'm interested to learn more about its growth requirements. Okay. Oh. Photograph. I purchased a new camera and flash lamp to document my flowers. The picture looks a little blurry, though. We'll have to investigate the camera settings. Marshmallow Smelter! Thank you for the 51 months. Thank you, thank you! This picture is so dark, impossible to see the flowers. I can't believe how quickly I have run out of that incredibly expensive flash powder. Well... I'm very pleased with this picture. Looks like I'm getting the hang of the camera. Hmm... Oh my god, there's so much to interact with. Ah! Overwhelmed! Goodbye! <laughs> the kitchen is locked. Why can I not get into my own kitchen? Fire has the potential to be among the most devastating forces of nature. Despite this, humans have developed the ability to invent, wield, and attempt to manage it. Meanwhile, certain species in the, pl in the plant kingdom have evolved to adapt and flourish in the face of fire. In areas where forest fires acquire frequently, pyrophiles have learned to rely on fire as a crucial part of their life cycle. Their seeds typically possess tough shells. Some pyrophiles only bloom when surrounded by smoke aromas from their natural habitat. Hmm... Ooh. I like this place, it's pretty. Chemical disposal. Oh, look at all these chemicals! Hey chat, which ones of these will explode? Can I make a bomb? <laughs> Sodium. It didn't explode. I'm disappointed. With oiter? I don't think I can add oiter. Magnesium? I thought for a second it exploded. <laughs> Frozen Echo, thank you for the 52 months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Cannot mix anymore. Oh, I can just dump this wherever? Can I put water in it then? <laughs> Hold on. What if I put it in the fountain outside? <laughs> they don't want me to blow it up in the cozy game. Boo! <laughs> you can tell you thank you for the five months. What if I toss it into the fire? Nope, can't do that either. Munran, thank you for the 13 months. Thank you very much. Why can I not explode things in my cozy game? <gasps> Later? No. How dare it not be a full physics simulator? <laughs> How dare they not program explosions?
Do, 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 do. I mean physics in the sense that I can't fill the bottle with water by holding it underneath the thing. Chemistry in the sense that I wanted to be able to explode stuff. Some ancient Celtic tribes practiced a coming-of-age ritual. This meant that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe. One of these rituals involved picking a flower in the woods, though not just any flower, of course. The gatherer had to find a fulguria. Fulguria? For, for this flower is known to only bloom during thunderstorms. Keeping a cool head while lighting f lightning flashes were striking left and right of you was considered the ultimate test of courage. Okay, so I need to simulate lightning. <laughs> What was the other one they wanted? I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, chat. I can't write cum. <laughs> it wouldn't let me. Blocked by tree. Curses. So needs smoke, which they simulated with the camera. Flashes of lightning, which they again simulated with the camera. Cameras had smoke, right? Oh. Ones that use flash powder did. Yeah, that's what I mean. Huh. Lady Arabella, these past few weeks I have been seeing lots of bright flashes coming from the back room of your house, and it scares my cows immensely as they think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this, and if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. Lady Arabella, please stop flashing your neighbors. Ah, oh, flash powder. Potassium and magnesium, two to one ratio. <gasps> I make boom! Where do I put the flesh powder? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What game be this? Botany Manor. I'm learning how to make science. Okay, so now I need... Fill a container with flash powder, close the container, press the button connected to the camera and the lumen flash lamp, witness a bright flash. <laughs> Will do. <gasps> Spectacles. I like how I can sit on every surface. Alright, uh... Oh. That's annoying. I actually need to know the th which ones I'm pressing. Can I, like, see more information about each one? 
No? I'll be irritating. Okay, so it's definitely the folklore book. I don't know, do the photographs actually help? Because the flower had, uh, yeah, it had flowers before it was a thing. Oh, look, my parents. Look at this photograph. Yeah, that's not helpful. Um... It doesn't say that the thing that this plant is a pyrophile, though, right? Water. Phantom Genesis, thank you for the 50 months. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so... It is not a pyrophile, so I just need to do the flash thingy. I put the plant over here. And then... Flash. Magic. <laughs> Very pretty. The Fulgaria only grows during thunderstorms where the flashes of lightning provide the bright light the flower needs to bloom. Because of its dangerous growing conditions, not many people have witnessed its beauty. Beauty. Like I can clip it through here. <laughs> Amazing. <gasps> A key! A key! The back terrace. Okay. What will I make this time? This might be a tough case to crack. Oh, so this is the volcano one. Pyrophiles. A summary of some seeds I've, collect I've gathered this year in the location I found them at. Cow parsley in Blackdown Hills, poppy in Cheddar Gorge, <laughs> buttercups in Stiart Marshes, the ash plume in Wisman's Wood, the wood anemone in Holford Combe, the wild thyme... thyme? I'm in Cubo, Col sorry, Colbone Wood and Foxglove in Ford Abbey. Great. My dear friend Arabella, a friend of mine visited the Americas and brought back a pair of fabulous gray squirrels. They are the latest trend in garden decor. No! No! <laughs> you fools! No! All my neighbors have sent for them as well. <laughs> it was a great investment. These two squirrels have now started a big family and my garden is full of the darling little critters. One thing I did notice is that I haven't seen a red squirrel in my garden for some time now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> How odd. 
You must visit soon and see the scrolls for yourself. Ever yours, Grace. <laughs> Fuck you, Grace. Oh, I miss red squirrels. What's wrong with that? Um, we used to have lots of red squirrels in the UK. And then gray squirrels showed up and uh, basically bullied them out of their spaces because of various reasons. And now we don't have red squirrels. For the most part, we have gray squirrels. Goodbye, red squirrels. Can I just toss this in the fireplace? <laughs> okay, let's see. Um... Jimmy broke another mortar. That boy really needs to learn how to grind spices without breaking down my kitchen. Lady Arabella may not be best pleased with me asking for a new one. The last mortar took years to be sorted. She is so scatterbrained, always off on her fancy research trips. Shopping list. Flour, eggs, milk, leeks, potatoes, and carrots. Okay. Thank you so much for reading. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hello. <laughs> hi, hi. Alex Ryder, thank you for the two months. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for being here. My name is Limes. I'm also known as Limu. I am a variety VTuber, and today we are playing Botany Manor. Uh, where was the kitchen? I was here. Open the kitchen. Oh, <gasps> pretty. Wait. <laughs> How long has this fire been going? Kindling. Dear lady, we received your letter applying to study botany at our College of Natural Sciences along with your enclosed drawings. We do not at pleasant we do not at present and have never admitted women to study at the college. Botany is a serious science conducted in laboratories and lecture halls. By all means continue pr to pursue your hobby tending to your garden and domestic space where it may be appreciated. Positions at the college are reserved for serious scholars whose studies will go on to be well utilized in a career in botanical experimentation. Therefore, with all politeness, we do not offer these valuable positions to amateurs that should otherwise be taken up by genuine academics. Ouch. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, Dogbomb. Yeah, no, I'm having a really good time with this game so far. Thank you very much again for the raid. I appreciate it. Let me give you a shout out, um. Hazel's priceless recipes for the home farm workshop in every department of human endeavor. Roasted chestnuts. Easy to crack open with the help of fire. Simply place the nuts in a pan above the fire and wait till you hear a pop. Okay. Hmm. Blessed is this kitchen by grace and holy light. May all those who enter find comfort and res respite. <laughs> Blessed is each room with laughter and with cheer. May the love shared here be held forever dear. To those who serve the Lord who seek their sanctuary, remember the year of construction, for this, friends, is the key. Gifted by Nicholas Owen. I see. Hmm... Pasture using fire is their method of choice. Okay. Dartmoor keeps popping up. Oh! <gasps> Broken! I mean, I just need to put the pot on the fire, right? What? Oh. Skeelizza? Mysterious symbol? 
<laughs> what could it mean? Yeah, heck you, scales. Look like a dick dick, you look like a dick <laughs> Uh, let's continue. Duck! The ancient oaks stand tall in Wistman's wood. Covered in moss, they withstood the test of time. Though none can tell the sorrows that did befell those trees in Wistman's wood. Do someone special. Nice games, thank you so much for the two months. Thank you, thank you. I picked you some roses from the garden to cheer you up. When you're done with your work in the kitchen, would you like to meet me for a cup of tea in the back garden? The pond is lovely this time of year. Warm regards, Mr. Bennett. Hmm... <gasps> Logs. Wait, what did they say I needed? Oaks. Mine. Ooh, smokery. <gasps> ah! Smoked food. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't even see who that was. Thank you very much for the wow bits. Thank you, thank you. A type of wood using your smokery is of great importance. Depends on your personal tastes and preferences. Burning wood from different types of tree produces different smoke aromas. It's due to the different chemical compositions in each type of smoke. and has a great impact on the flavor of your smoked food. Choose your logs with care. <laughs> Wow. Wow. I have to tab to see who that is. Thank you very much, Tuba Man. Okay, so I smoked some oak. I need to go get the plant pot. Smoked. <laughs> Where did it? Where was it? I don't remember. Oh, it's out here. Hey, be quiet, please. Oh, he is sadness incarnate. Oh, so sad. <laughs> Dumpster Warlock, thank you very much for subbing for six months in advance. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. So sad. Sadness. Good boy, way school. Okay, first, I want to try to set it on fire first because it's funny. Wow. Explode! Oh! Oh, it worked. Nice. <laughs> Thank you very much for the wow bits. I cannot see who it is without tapping because the freaking sound alerts thing won't show up in chat anymore. But I appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy oak. <laughs> Pretty flower. Was Gridline? Thank you. Thank you, Gridline. The ash plume is a pyrophile of us evolved to survive harsh forest fires. Its seed cracks open with extreme heat, and afterwards, the oak smoke from its habitat indicates it's safe to bloom. Good way to school. So sad. Yay! A delivery! What could it be? Wow. Thank you very much.
much for the wow bits. I still can't see who it is because the preview is too small and it won't show up in chat anymore. Thank you. Uh, no. Ooh, but I didn't see this before. Hat. We'd love to join you in our younger days, but your tales about the trip will have to sacrifice when we next meet. I'll never forget the Maria Jackson passage she once highlighted to me. In examining plates, you take the authority of others, whereas in botany, as in all other things, we can make little progress if we do not see ours for ourselves. Well, now you must travel and see some interesting specimens for yourself. I am inspired to look forward... Uh, sorry, I am inspired and look forward to hearing all about it. Thank you, Eleanor. to my house. Cheerful chaos. Thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Orchard? <gasps> Orchard! <gasps> Pretty! Dear niece, I have gathered a selection of my cherished toys and books, among them my beloved Piggy. I, have, I highly recommend the nursery rhymes as they are charming as well as educational. But I'll take no offense should they put your little one straight to sleep. With all my affections, Auntie Arabella. <laughs> Baron Gray, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you and welcome. Oh, Lioness Abby Place, thank you for the sub. Thank you, thank you. High on the mountain top so steep grows a flower that's hard to keep, its petals delicate and bright, whistling in the wind with all their might. The mountaineers who climb up high listen for the whistle as they try, to find their way amidst the snow and reach the summit cheeks aglow. With every step they hear it loud, the wolf gloves howl, la clear and proud, guiding them through paths unknown to reach the summit and call it home. Aww. <gasps> More primrose Sh spring dance shrub hyacinth e tears bluebell and cradle fern. Oh. Perfect for preparing microscope slides. In the world of plants, the sun is the ultimate source of energy. Chloroplasts, a small organelle organelles? Organelles? Inside this sorry, small organelles inside the plant cells of a plant are responsible for capturing the light from the sun and converting it into sugar via photosynthesis. Hi, Tyranids! Oh, I need a drink while it's reading. <laughs> However, not all plants have chloroplasts. Some re plants rely entirely on organic matter for their energy and do not photosynthesize. They have lost their chloroplasts over time and have instead adapted to obtain energy by absorbing sugars through their roots. It is therefore recommended to add a certain amount of sugar to the soil when cultivating these particular plants. Hmm. History of England. <laughs> the entire thing? Back in the Middle Ages, during the reign of Queen Elizabeth, all Catholics were persecuted by law. Therefore, some households built secret rooms in case they needed to hide a priest that was visiting their family home. Many of these so-called priest holes were designed and built by Nicholas Owen. Not on only the owner of the house and Nicholas himself knew about the location. Because of this, it is thought that there are maybe many undiscovered priest holes throughout England to this day. Oh, that's the entire history of England. <laughs> 
Lady Arabella, thank you for inviting me to Botany Manor last Monday. As a historian, I found it wonderful to see an authentic medieval manor, especially one as beautiful as yours. I apologize again for not wow. being able to locate the priest hole in your house. <laughs> thank you so much for the wow bits. Although I am convinced it exists and we will find it one day. It won't be easy. They tend to be hidden well and sometimes require elaborate mechanisms to be opened. Kind regards, Professor Pennyworth. Angus McKnife, thank you for the 52 months. Thank you, thank you. Dearest Arabella, how are you getting on in your garden? I hope it's not getting to be too much on for you on your own these days. A mutual friend mentioned you have been struggling to germinate the ash plume. Have you tried making sure there is fresh compost in the pot? Stubborn seeds often need that to grow. I'll visit you sometime. Perhaps I can find a way to crack the seed for you. I can show you the book I've been working on in the meantime. Yours sincerely, Charles. <gasps> A new seed! The pixie tears. Sometimes I need to add extra nutrition to the soil. I found the following amounts work best with my different pots. Oh. <laughs> Wes, why are you snorting? Hold on, let me double check. Is the pixie a chloroplast? Also, you don't have to run in this game. I just have run toggled on because of my terrible hands. Pixie tears. Where were they? So they don't have chloroplast, so they will need extra. So add clue, chloroplast, microscope slides, hot notes. What was the nursery room? Oh, it's wolf glove. That's not relevant. So this needs 97 grams of extra additive because of that note. Oh! <gasps> Stuff! Things! God, can you imagine how many freaking ants would be on this by now? <laughs> Apples. Hmm. Oh, do I use the apples? I use the apples. Oh my goodness. And then I, oh, I use the scales to measure the apples to figure out how much sugar I need because they grow in orchards. And they use the, oh, they use the sugar from that fruit. <gasps> I get it. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Sugar. How much sugar did I need? Shit. Was it... What did I say? Did I say 92 or 97? Oh. I can just smash apples. Nobby, Russet, Dabinet, Foxwelp, Brown Snout, Pit Mason Pine, Cat's Head, Kingston Black, Green Ups, Lord Peckover, <laughs> Seymour's Delight, Bitter Green Streak, and Merlin's Mist. You don't remember if that helps. That helps immensely. Thank you. I wish Limu would smash my Nobby apple. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see. <sighs> Sugars, tannins, and acid values. Do you think the tannins and acid values are, are relevant? They might be. Hmm. More apples. Surely I don't have to run the apples back and forth to the scales, though. That would be nuts. I don't think I do. Because it gives me the weights right here. Hmm. 
Don't call you Shirley? Okay. <laughs> 40 grams plus... 30 grams plus 23 grams. Yeah, so I need one Nobby Russet, one Seymour's Delight, and one Bitter Green Street. Can you remember that, chat? I forgot already. Okay, I need a knobby russet. What is a knobby russet? Oh, <laughs> it looks knobby. Here we go. One. And then I need... Uh, Seymour's Delight. Okay. Come here, Seymour. And then I need a bitter green streak. Which presumably is green. I see. And streaky. There we go. Sorry. No, I, I don't think I played Dungeon Keeper 2 this time around. I put that in there. And I put that in there. And then I water it. And I take my pixie tears. And I put them here. And then I smash apples into them! <laughs> oh! I am a genius! <laughs> I have created magic. I didn't even finish adding the clues. <laughs> Pixie Tears no longer contains chloroplasts, which are organelles responsible for photosynthesis. Instead, the Pixie Tears obtains sugar through their roots, which it commonly finds in the apples from orchards. So I want the apple blending and the cyber apples. Cy cider apples. <laughs> I did the flower thing. Look, look at my Pixie Tears. Cool. <laughs> hi, Sarah. Hi, Remy. Welcome. Yell song. Thank you for the 43 months. Thank you. Thank you. Lady Arabella, I have received a request for repairs to the roof of your garden tower. Alas, I must confess that I am not the man to undertake this task. It may have escaped your notice that the tower in your orchard is known to locals as the Turbulent Tower. It is believed that a poltergeist dwells within its walls. Legends say that the spirit is evil and brings ferocious winds upon anyone who dares enter the tower. I don't want to provoke the wrath of this ghost, and I advise you to refrain from meddling with the tower. From Willy, the builder. Thanks, Willy. No worries, Scuttles. Thanks for being here. Lilia Locklet, thank you so much for the two months. Thank you and welcome. Oh, for a second, that was gonna slam shut behind me. Oh, broken. Drafty in here now. <laughs> Is that why they think it's haunted? So the next flower re requires some kind of wind speed, right? Which I'm gonna have to do by changing the levels of wind in this tower. Hi, Dr. Funda! You like my wind tunnel? Thank you. You have fun in there. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Tower wind research. Wind speed of 35 FS on third... A 3D floor. 50 fizz on second floor. 45 fizz on fourth floor. 20 fizz on first floor. 40 fizz on fourth floor. My anemometer broke. I hope there isn't a poltergeist in the tower after all. 25 fizz on fifth floor. Okay, thank you. Alpine exploration. Oh, here we are. Wind speed, pressure, and millibars. Wear the correct gear. Okay. Oh. Dom Dan, thank you for the three months. Thank you very much. Sorry, I was looking over at West School. Fizz. You mean fizz, right? Not feet. Fizz. Painting room. Lady Arabella, as you can see, the staircase of your orangery collapsed in your absence. I've already written to the builder in the hopes he want in, in the hope he wants to sort it out. Although, as you know, he can be difficult to pin down. I do apologize if this is getting in the way of your research. I don't suppose you could find another way to the bottom level. Hi, Clean Cyrus. Welcome. <gasps> That's me from Matty Golding. Oh, it's open. Dearest Alabella, we made it to the Alps. We are so sad that you couldn't join us this time, but we understand you are busy creating your herbarium. L yesterday we were lost on a hike until suddenly we heard a strange whistling tune. T -t tune? Tune? Tune. We followed the sound and soon enough we discovered it was coming from a tiny flower. If only you had been there to tell us what kind of flower it was. Your loving friend always, Matty. Tune. Shortcut. <gasps> Painting. I feel like that's the first time I found a map. My dearest Alabella, in Garden's Fair, you grace the scene of flower rare. Your presence beams with radiant light, a lily's charm, so pure and white. Your hands like petals, soft and fine, in tender touch, a love divine. And in your eyes a brilliance glows, as daisies fair in spring's repose. Oh, how I long to have you near, to cherish you, my heart sincere. Like roses freshly cut you'd be, the trophy of my home, with glee. Can I throw it in the fire? Ms. Green, your research proposal on the structure of coastal plants was of quaint interest. We have no plans to fund a small project like this, but perhaps if you are set on botanical field work, you might assist Professor Montague in his work on British meadow orchids. I am sure your natural aptitude for domestic duties would be much appreciated. <laughs> might I also recommend Lord Lindley's book, Ladies' Botany, or a familiar introduction to the study of the natural system of botany. It is an elementary book for unscientific readers, and I one and one I have heard is a suitable amusement for ladies such as yourself, being about a mother who wishes to teach her children about plants. <laughs> Respectfully, J.W. Surtees. <laughs> Flower painting in watercolor. Lady Arabella, I was wondering if I could join Mr. Bennett into town later this afternoon to place an order for a new kitchen scale. The one we have is rather ancient, and I'm afraid it's not suitable for measuring flour to make my delicious scones. If you could let me know your decision before the afternoon, that would be lovely. In your service, Miss Patterson, Mrs. Patterson, even. Why is there a knob? Symbology, a study you are in discerning reader will have a find a history of the use of religious and folkloric there's a space missing symbols throughout the art of the world. It's a paperweight? Oh. Uh, oh! Catholicism! Agnes Day! That's the symbol we found. I remember. Peek, peek. Hmm. But I haven't found a seed yet. This displeases me. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Lumuba says, yeah, nah. <laughs> okay, Lumuba. Jack, thank you for continuing your sub. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hello, Seed? Seed, hello? Oh! I see the symbol. Let me go touch it. Where was it? Do you guys remember? Was it in the science room? I think it was in like the... The, the room where I did mad science. Yeah, it's kind of an escape room thing. It's interesting. Oh, wait, no, it was in the room with the scales. The kitchen, the kitchen, the kitchen, the kitchen. Where was the kitchen? Chat, I'm hungry. <laughs> I have this, like, terrible habit of not finishing my dinner because I cannot f eat that much in one go, and then I get hungry. It is the Agnes Day! What does that mean? Hmm. Wait, 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 wait! If it was a Catholicism... <gasps> chat, chat, chat! If it's a Catholicism... <laughs> it's it's the priest's hole! The priest's hole is here! <gasps> and maybe, maybe I need to figure out how, 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 how big the priest's hole is <laughs> in order to get into the room. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta go... Where was the book on symbols again? Fuck. <laughs> It's fine, chat. We just have to measure the priest's hole and then we can enter. Which way was it? Yeah, so it's a Catholicism. <laughs> I pronounced it right the first time. Catholicism. Catholic. Pinion, thank you for the 34 months. Thank you, thank you. Uh... Aaron, thank you for gifting five subs. Thank you very much. And then... Natural... That's not helpful. This is dumb. What did he say in the room or in the in the letter in the garden? He said something about the, the priest's hole. I need to go find the history book. Priest holes. Hide a priest. There may be many unwanted priest holes. Uh... There's no weights given here. Yeah, I feel like there was something about a year somewhere. It's weird that I can't just like review all of my clues. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, I can't. Wait, there's a clue in the orange jury? Shit, okay. This girl's too asleep to get mad at those people outside. It's probably the clue that I've missed. Nursery rhyme. Yeah, I need I need to get into the priest hole. I 
I mean... Maybe it's just, maybe it's just like... Map. Painting room. <laughs> I could just fuck around with the weights and see what happens, but I have a feeling I'm supposed to know better than that. any other clues about priest holes, right? Because apparently the only clue that I'm missing is in the orangery. There was a thing on the wall that said the year of construction is important. <gasps> where? 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 That sounds that sounds important because I remember I remember you I remember that you said the thing and I remember that but I don't remember where it was. Hmm. Wait, the map had the date of construction? It did? I didn't see. <gasps> But where, where did it actually say the date of construction was important? Constructed 1593. Wesker, I swear to god, please stop snorting. It's very off-putting. <laughs> okay, so it was constructed in 1953. Or sorry, 1593. <laughs> Shit. Let me double-check. 1593. Um... Yeah, it was this! Gifted by Nicholas Owen! Oh, he was the guy that made holes! He's the hole man! Oh. 1593. Okay. One. Five. Nine. Wow. Three. Oh, the hole! <laughs> Thank you very much for the wow bits. Oh, it's this game. It's a lot of fun. It's a puzzle game and I'm enjoying it immensely. Christ, I can't read that. My Lord Green! <laughs> Thou hast ventured mightily in granting me refuge within these walls and for such favor... I remain eternally indebted to thee. The cunning of little John in his establishment in the, of this sanctuary doth inspire awe. A saint he is to our brethren and sisters who have sought refuge from the harsh rule of Queen Elizabeth and King James. Pray extend my gratitude unto thy... I did not read that as cook. <laughs> unto thy cook for the sustenance provided. A welcome respite from Brother Michael's oft-repeated fare of leeks and potatoes. <laughs> With the most earnest of thanks, I entreat that this mass missive shall not mark our final communion, and that our faith may endure unbroken. Yours with devotion are bloont. Yeah, it's like plant mist. Duck! <laughs> Orange. Orange. What? Souvenir coin from Fort William, Scotland. Oh god. Mount Ven, whatever. Mont Blanc. Iger? Does it say Grindelwald? The Crystal Palace for the Great Exhibition in London, 1851. St. Paul's. Thank you. 
Today marks the beginning of an intriguing adventure as I join Professor John Montague and his wife Annie Montague. Sorry, Anne Montague. Saray! Thank you for the 40 months. Thank you, thank you. And fellow botanist Robert Brown on our field trip to study British meadow orchids. Everyone's enthusiasm for the subject is infectious. Today, Professor Montague gathered all of us to examine a southern marsh orchid. Though upon arrival, I noticed it had a much more hooded appearance and could be a new species entirely. When I pointed this out, Professor Montague laughed and explained he was simply testing us. Okay. Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, <gasps> fixed it. <laughs> Ow. Tech dude, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you and welcome. Uh, for us, a prospective applicant must be supported by three existing gentlemen of the society, along with an evidence or research showing his dedication with, to the advancement of the science of botany. Widows of existing fellows receive honorary membership to attend social events. This month's lecture is on the importance of lab investigation. Valentinius, thank you for the 20 months. Thank you very much. Oh god, not again. by location. Shit, I have to figure out which one. Can I not re-review them? Wait, Q index? Oh, no, no, no! Oh, I goofed. <laughs> hmm. I wish I didn't have to go running around to find each piece. Nursery rhyme. In the nursery room. You hit the sub button and the app immediately crashed. It's very robust like that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. The mountaineers who climb up high listen for the window is it? And then... <laughs> Numeral Zero! Thank you for gifting us up to Rotten Lion! Thank you, thank you! Exian, thank you for the 64 months. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's see. British Meadow Orchids. Southern Marsh Orchid. 30th of July, 3rd of August, 1862. 61. 52.
1865 first summit. Hmm. There's no address, but isn't that one of the symbols? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. See that one? Get out of the kitchen? No, I want to be here. Could it be this one? Because goat? Maybe it was these ones? <gasps> this one! Switzerland! <gasps> they were in Switzerland! Okay, 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 okay. Uh... This one. Wind speed 40 with a pressure of 1020 millibars. Okay, so once we had a 40, the fourth floor. Okay, so I need to be on the fourth floor and presumably turn off the others. Come on, little wolf glove. Let's go. Do you think it's that simple? I hope I don't have to do some weird... ...adding. Let me get the other one first. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, I got more to do. Let me see. Wind research... Oh, there was a letter about the Alps. Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. I'm sorry, little wolf glove. Okay. In the Alps by location, 40 with a pressure of... 20 millibars. It is a puzzle game, yeah. And then I also need... very cozy. I would recommend. There was another thing about the Alps, but I don't remember where it was. Let me see. There's also the letter from the builder that might be relevant about the old tower. Let's go see. Hmm. 
That's not helpful. Just superstition. Thank me. Thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you, thank you. See you later, Ulderic. Have good work. There's a nursery rhyme, the weather and the orangery. Wind research. Dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. So I need to have the bottom one open once, second closed, third and fourth open. Okay. Does it matter which of the two? Hopefully not. So... Oh. I didn't even look at the pictures, I just looked at the number. But the... To the priest's hole, yes. The wolf glove grows in Mount Weisshorn, where the weather is just right. When the wind hits the tubular petals, a howling sound can be heard. Mountaineers are familiar with this flower and use it to navigate on, on foggy days. Cool! Ah! <gasps> Delivery! This way. Yes, here. So the who is withholding my keys? I'm so glad to hear you have returned from your travels. While you're away, I changed the code for the library door lock each time I visited as I know some of grandmother's valuable items are kept in the secret vault. The new code for the door is the three initials of my name to make it easy for you to remember. I hope we can meet soon. I look forward to hearing all about your adventures. Fuck you, Elizabeth! Now I gotta go find your name! God damn it. I mean, E is one of them, and presumably the last one is G, unless she ha she got married. Oh wait, there's a family tree, right? Just go look at her Facebook. <laughs> uh, A E A G, maybe. Yeah, E A G. I mostly sold, you're not wrong. Open. No! Wait, 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 wait. Is it because she's married? Hold on, she's married! She's married! She's married! She's married! She's married! She's married! They changed the names back! Hold on, what was this, her husband's name? <gasps> H. 
Yeah, is her name. <laughs> Yay. Modern methods of teaching. Thank you. Dear Lady Green, thank you kindly for the flower books you sent my daughters. To this day, they still show an interest in learning more about plants and painting. I'm keen that my daughters have access to a good education, so I hope you don't mind putting it upon me putting upon you that you might be able to teach them somehow. Your dedication and knowledge seems so rare and inaccessible elsewhere for young girls like mine. I hope you will consider my proposal. Sincerest regards, Olive Campbell. I just remembered I have to be up early tomorrow. Uh, why exist, dude? Why exist when you have to wake up? Um. <laughs> One bright morning, a poor fisherman caught a shining golden fish. Yuyo, thank you for the sub. Thank you and welcome. The fish cried, Please let me live. I am not a fish, but a prince enchanted by a wicked spell. So the fisherman let the fish go free. When the fisherman's wife learned of this, she demanded the fish grant a wish in, ex in return for its freedom, a cottage instead of the hovel where they lived. So the fisherman returned to the shore, and the fish granted their wish. But the wife was greedy and demanded riches, a palace, and servants. All the while, the ocean became darker, and the shore was black with dirt. The Crazy Shadow, thank you for the two months. Thank you. Aw. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm very glad. It's a pleasure having you here. Finally, the wife wished to be so powerful that she could grant wishes for herself. In return for this greedy request, the fish revoked all of its wishes it had granted. After that, the ocean became blue again, the shore cleaned, and the fisherman never saw the golden fish ever again. Huh. I mean, that could have ended worse, I guess. Oh. Grandma's vault. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to end with a fisherman's wife becoming a fish. At midday, a hare and a tortoise took a walk together. The hare moved quickly and noticed the tortoise struggling to keep up. The hare laughed and challenged the tortoise to a race. The tortoise accepted. A course was decided and the race began. I used to read this all the time. The hare immediately leapt out of sight, but then laid down to take a nap sure that the tortoise would never catch up. The tortoise plodded slowly on, making his way towards the finish line. When the hare awoke from his nap, he opened his eyes just in time to see the tortoise crawling slowly across the finish line. The proud hare had been so sure that he would win, he had underestimated the tortoise. As the tortoise crossed the finish line, he exclaimed, Slow and steady wins the race. Thank you, Aesop. There is a house in New Orleans. It's a very famous fable. Yeah, it's not the whole thing. The Fox and the Crow. One evening, a fox was in search of something to eat for dinner. He saw the crow sitting on a tree branch, holding a big piece of tasty cheese in her beak. So the fox came up with a plan. He walked up to the crow and complimented her shiny black feathers. The crow was suspicious of the fox and kept her beak tightly closed around the cheese. The fox kept on charming the crow, describing her as the most majestic of all the birds with a big, strong beak. Oh, what a song that beak must make. It must be the song of a queen. Please, beautiful crow, let me hear it. Flattered by all the praise... The crow forgot about her suspicion and also her dinner, so she opened her beak wide to utter the loudest caw, and down fell the cheese straight into the fox's open mouth. <laughs> My favorite fable, honestly, that time the fox raised the crow. Ooh, buddy, thank you for the sub. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome.
Mish? Evening. Oh, it okay. So let's see. Evening crow, and then oh, I need to go double check. Midday. Okay. So it was midday for the hare and the tortoise, and then um, the morning was the fmish. But there's not all the, there's not all of those things. Hmm. There's, there's not, no, I mean, there's not like, there's not a morning, midday, and evening. So I guess. Morning, fish. <laughs> it didn't like that at all. <laughs> it vibrated. Uh, let's see. I've missed a clue somewhere, I think. Oh. They call the rising sun. So that one's closed. What does that mean for button push? Oh, wonders of the night sky. Oh. Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> So there's morning sun, night sky. So maybe it's only the ones that take place in the morning and the night. So that would be... Morning fmish. And then... Bro. But then this one has to be push. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because there's one for a night. Mushrooms. Let me just reset it. Name. I'm a badger, bud. Mushroom, mushroom. Hi, Willow. Mm. Wash your hands and accompany me. You won't find a husband at the bottom of the garden. Rude. I mean, the problem is, like, everything that I can find apart from midday is around here. But I don't know what the order is. Hmm. I wonder if that just means the only one that I should be pushing is this one, but I did push that one and nothing happened, so that can't be it. And I pushed all four of these and nothing happened either. 
But maybe... Oh, maybe it's just... Morning... Mish... Rabbit... Nope, not that either. Oh, fuck, I fucked up. Fish in the morning, then the rabbit, then at night is the crow. Nope, none of these. Okay. No, what? It, well, yeah, there, there is, there are five books, there are five buttons. But I feel like it's specific. One evening. Hi, Clover! Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe it is only animals? Because the books are closed, so maybe it should just be in order. It would be fish, rabbit, crow. No, you have to hit all five. Hmm. Hmm. In order the time of day. That's what we did, but the problem is there's a missing time of day for the bunny. And just inserting the bunny doesn't seem to help. At what time of day did the events happen? Have you not watched the last five times I tried to push the buttons? Yeah, it did say midday. But what I'm what I'm saying is I pressed them in that order. I've pressed I've pressed morning uh, sorry, morning fish, bunny, night crow. And I've also done fish morning bunny pro night. N neither of those work. <laughs> Aw, hi, Vakakuma. Thank you so much and welcome. I've done morning fish bunny night crow. Uh, let's see. Crow is evening, moon is night. Yes, yes it is, but I've also done the crow before the night. <clears throat> Let me see. I mean, we could do the sun is rising, then it's the morning, then it's the bunny, then it's the early evening, and then it's the night. Yeah, I did it! I had to swap around. It was fish, then, no, sunrise and fish. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, because the first time I did it, I did it wrong. I did... Sunfish, and then... Yeah, no, no, I see, I see what I did. Cat with a cat! Thank you for the two months! Thank you, thank you! <gasps> Nightfall. No, chat was just yelling, it's time of day. I knew it was time of day. It was just being funky about the order. Sunset, 1st of May. Red, orange, yellow, pink. I'm gonna forget all of this. Sunset, May 22nd. Blue, yellow, pink, orange. Oh, God. Sunset, 8th of July. Blue, purple, pink, orange. Good! I'll remember those for sure. Sunset 14th of October, green, blue, pink, orange! Sunset 29th of April, purple, red, orange, yellow! Ah! Sunset 25th of June, blue, purple, orange, red! Sunset 12th of September, blue, yellow, orange, red! Sunset 8th of August, blue, purple, red, orange! <laughs> yep, I remember all of those, do you, chat? I've been trying to encourage the nightfall to bloom for a little while now. It's determined to prove it's more than just a myth. Sorry, I'm determined to prove it's more than just a myth. I've deduced that the flower opens at sunset and only during a particular time of the year. When exactly that occurs still remains a mystery to me. I shall plant a few more seedlings tomorrow and continue my research. Hmm. Study. Um, 
Lindley appointed chair of botany at University College London after an esteemed early career as an assistant secretary to the Hor Horticultural Society and admission of the youngest ever fellows to the Linnean Society. John Lindley plans to elevate the science of botany. Very much the fashion of the light, light years in this country to undervalue the importance of this science and I consider it an amuse and to consider it amusement for ladies rather than the occupation for the serious thoughts of man. <laughs> But why wouldn't you, chat? Why will you not do what Limebot says? On a second. There we go. Hmm. To the study! You guys remember where that was? Oh. I found it! <laughs> I've been pondering these last weeks what could be the best way to see your remarkable flora reach the wider world, since it is so seldom we are able to see our work published. Considering your uncle's reputation in the scientific field, have you considered asking him to publish your herbarium under his name? It may not give you the recognition you deserve personally, but it would be a way to reach your goal of adding to the scientific record of botany. Do consider it, for I would hate to see such a such an important research to stay hidden away. Hmm. Oh god, what? Egg! Also egg. Egg! Egg. Egg. Also egg. Another egg. Oh, I like that one. Tiny. <laughs> Tree diseases. Uh, adding fertilizer. Black patches to form on the bark of the tree. Uh, root parasite is a fungus. Purple rings. And she'll cause the tree to dry out and lose all its leaves. No known cure. Bark rust is a disease that isn't very harmful to the tree. It's usually caused by excess hydration and too much sunlight. Thank you so much for the three months. Thank you, thank you. Just like plants, fungi need food sources to grow strong and healthy. Some fungi haven't always had access to nutrients through soil and have evolved to retrieve it in different ways. This means they have become carnivorous because they only need to acquire the nutrients they... Sorry, they only require the nutrients they need by consuming other living beings. Some mushrooms even get their nutrients from feeding on another type of fungus or parasite. Mushrooms growing on a tree is usually a sign that they are consuming the tree, so you should remove them immediately. And this is not always the case. <laughs> Arabella, I have some more books from the department that may be of interest for your research. One I recall was a favorite of your father's. If you have any trouble when you visit the college, tell the secretary you are collecting materials for your uncle. So long as they are returned before summer ends, the other professors won't notice. Good luck with your research, Uncle Theodore. I think there's a reason why these words are, like, lightened. <laughs> I'm getting very paranoid now about what the game is trying to do here. Department the, the the departure of summer maybe. Ooh. Jesus. Okay. have close to enough clues now. Uh oh.
there a master bedroom I've missed somewhere? Oh, do you think I need to intentionally give a tree that tree in the in the uh thing? <gasps> wait, 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 wait! Tree diseases, tree diseases. Hold on. Root parasite. It dead. This is death, right? Or tree. Tree tree is over. What if what if I use the mushroom? And I make the mushroom eat the disease. Come here, mushroom. I wish for you to eat the tree. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Sad for the tree. The, the tree was diseased, but the mushroom has fixed it. It's a wildly misunderstood mushroom. It grows commonly on trees and is opposed to popular belief the mushroom consumes its parasites rather than the tree itself. See? Easy peasy. Taking a walk along a river in Somerset recently, I noticed that I had to write. I noticed a site that I just had to write to you about. In the water, I saw the brook chalice blooming. I've never seen or heard of it flowering before, and none of my books mention of it. It was so beautiful. Do you have any idea what could have caused this? Ever your friend Edith? No, Edith. I don't fucking know. Cradle fern. That looks like egg. Egg. Zephyr, thank you so much for the for the sub. Thank you and welcome. You have a pond? Do you want to swim in it? Is it covered in slimy weeds? We are specialized in removing the following weeds. Algae, Himalayan basalm, brook chalice, and duckweed. Make an appoint appointment today. Uh, a petition to be presented to the Honorable House of Commons. In recent years, hunts have been taking place near the Somerset Rivers. Tragically, this has led to the decline and even extinction of some bird species. No longer can we hear the beautiful chime-like calls. We call upon the government to regulate hunting near rivers of Somerset. We ask that they respect the breeding times of wildlife. If you agree, please sign below and return this letter to us. No expense need attend signing. Hmm. Did you have a nice nap? Once upon a time, there was a little fairy who loved gazing at her own reflection in the water. She lost track of the time, and the day turned into night. Nyx, goddess of the night, noticed the little fairy. The moon was shining bright, but the fairy only had eyes for herself. Nyx took offense and decided to punish the little fairy. <gasps> Ruby's channel, thank you for the two months. Nyx placed the fairy into a nightfall and cast a spell on her. She fell in love with the moon and gazed upon the sky all night. As dawn approached and the sun arose, the spell broke. Though just as the fairy awoke from her enchantment, the flower bud closed and trapped the fairy for eternity. <laughs> That's a hell of a punishment. <laughs> Aww, it's her cat. Dearest friend, it seems our interest in visiting the private plant collection of Lord Spencer has gone unacknowledged. 
While disappointing, I am not sure it is worth pursuing scientific study in such places. On my visit, recent visit to Brinsby, the young man showing us around had barely a basic knowledge of plants, and due to there being a large group of gentlemen in the party, all useful time and erudition was devoted to them and none given to Constance and I. Let us plan another trip of our own, and perhaps we can see these specimens in the same habitat, or in their home habitats where they belong. Ever your faithful friend, Eliza. Hmm. No worries, Whirlwind. I hope you have a nice time when you try it for yourself. Ooh. Oh God. <laughs> I plum. Wait, why would you not just turn around? What the hell? Oh, okay. Oh no. Easy peasy. Okay, what did I do that for? <laughs> Installation of disconnected pipes. Dear Arabella, here is our quote to repair the geyser in your bathroom. The cost may seem high, but trust us, it's a complex job. Best left to the professionals. Have a nice day from Frederick. Fucking mm. Frederick, dude. Uh, provides a rapid flow of hot water. Simply turn the tap and instantly hot water will appear. Can be used multiple times in a row without any extra cost. Whoa. Oh, and I can change the temperature here, too. Okay, let's see. I need a couple more clues. Flush toilet. <laughs> Good. Mish. Missing a clue in the master bedroom. See it, chat? You see the clue. Don't see it. I cannot crouch either. Shout out for Hina Bobina, please. Look at this photograph. Unless, does this count as the master bedroom as well? Let me see. Uh... No, counts as the bathroom. Good morning. How can I be missing a clue, chat? Chamber pot? Why would there be a chamber pot? She has a flushing toilet. The clue was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> no, it wasn't.
Oh, there is actually a chamber pot, though. <laughs> oh! Dear Lady Arabella, I wanted to thank you again for your invaluable contributions during our recent Meadow Orchid research expedition. Your keen observations and deep knowledge of orchids was so helpful. Your dedication to the field is an inspiration to us all. Collaborations and the continued exploration of the botani bot botanical wonders that surround us. I will put in a good word for you with the Botanical Society. <gasps> Dwarmir! Thank you so much for the sub! Thank you, thank you, welcome! Dearest Arabella, I am writing to share with you an exciting discovery I have made in my botanical studies. It turns out that some plants are particularly sensitive to sound and seem to thrive when exposed to music or melodies from their natural environment. I hope to share more of my findings with you in the near future and... Oh my god, the would-be delight in there just looks really weird because of how many strokes up there are. If you could join me in your research. <gasps> Rivers of Somerset! Oh, what temperature did she say the river was? Or where she, where she was? What? Oh, <laughs> okay. I see. I get you. I know it. I'm picking up what you're putting down, game. is here. Hello, Yun. That is a cute donut you have. Would you like for me to throw it? Throw the donut. Okay. Yun Yun is taking a drink. Okay. Walk along a river in Somerset. Wasn't that just rivers of Somerset? Let me go double check. Fuck, where was that river? Where's the river chart? Oh. They have the most popular wizard rivers in Somerset of all aquatic weeds. Oh, that sucks. The river Cam, the River Chew, and the River Summer have been cleared of weeds. Thank you for your continued support. Okay, so it can't be either either of those or any of those. Cam, Chew, and Summer. Uh, brought to our attention that the factory of Barton Ironworks has been legally dumping scrap metal into rivers. These rivers are now polluted with rust, making them unsafe for swimming. Do not swim it in Cam, Summer, or Chew. Wait, those were cleared. Oh no. The river from from was also affected by the waste, although oddly the river is completely clear of rust pollution. <gasps> it must be this one! Because plants are amazing, so it cleared the rust! <laughs> it must be this one here. Yeah, because Cam, Chew, and Summer were all cleared. So maybe 25 degrees? Let's try it as a start. I did not mean to do that. Motherfuck! <laughs> Wait, what was the brook chalice again? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I fucked up. Hold on.
goes here. So you need river poster, bath, river trust, government notice. Yeah. D does that mean I put the wrong one in here? What are you? I did. I put the wrong one in here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little cr uh, cradle fern. You are dead. <laughs> okay, so now I need... Oh wait, I don't even have its seeds yet. Where did the seeds go? Is this not the attic? Ah. Oh. I didn't need to kill the poor cradle fern after all. I thought this was an attic, but I guess not. Yeah, so seed location, packet location, attic. Yeah, I haven't been to the attic yet, so I need the cradle fern. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I killed him. Okay, so I need... <laughs> uh, I need that egg chart. <gasps> Stall! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome, welcome everybody! Hello, hello! It is a pleasure to have you guys here. Thank you very much. Let me give you a shout out. Did you have a nice stream? Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Limes, I'm also known as Limu. I, today I am doing puzzle video game. Making brain work good. Uh, it was this one. The Crested Owl. I think. What were you guys doing today? My brain is pulsating right now. <laughs> Okay, so I might as well put you up here, because I know where I'm going to need you. Stardew? <gasps> I love Stardew. I'm addicted to Stardew. Crested Owl is E-C-D-E-G-F. Hmm. Let me see. <laughs> Thank you for the 57 months. Thank you, thank you. It is very tempting to mod Stardew because you can just remove all the stuff you don't like. Oh, did I not water it? Fuck. Come here. Let me dump some water on your head. There you go. E, C, D, E, G, F. <gasps> I like this one. This one's pretty. Where are your eggs? Oh, right, right. The eggs aren't there because we don't have any crested owls. <laughs> Yay! The cradle fern is used by the crested owl as a nest and in turn the plant has grown dependent of the owl's chime like crawl sorry, has grown dependent on the owl's chime like call to grow. Which is very weird if you think about it. No owls? Yeah, boy, Yin. Yin Yin is loyally waiting, wondering why I do not love him. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back just a second. Abanya, thank you for the three months. Thank you, thank you. Be right back, just one minute.
Hello, I am back. Wow. Wow, I'm back. <laughs> Thank you, Tuba Man. Uh, here we go. Hi, back. I'm chat. <laughs> No, I had to go fill up Union's water. Oh, did someone do a, a fart sound alert? <laughs> Thank you. Uh. Do I have Lime's patterned eyes? Yes. There we go. Okay. So... Wait, chat, did I miss a delivery? In the game? As in, like, did they deliver something? Doesn't seem like it, so wait, how do I get into the attic? Hmm. Maybe, maybe I missed a key somewhere. It's a cozy, uh, botany game. <laughs> Zink Furtail, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you and welcome. For that, you may have some of my carbonara. Oh. <laughs> I'm you and Giga Chad. The flower growing companion. Moths can become trapped in flower buds. Sometimes they don't. Oh, that sucks. That's like the fairy story. Thank you, Zink. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> I have to learn about the moths of England. Inspect Rusty Pig. <laughs> Barton something... Something. Some scientists have theorized that plants have photoreceptors in their leaves and stems, which allows them to see the color of light. That means that flowers can tell the time of day and know when to open and close their buds. The exact time that flowers bloom is different from each flower for each flower, but most do appear to want this respond to light and the color of light in some way. Horticulturists and botanists have made use of this knowledge to trick different flowers into blooming any time they like. Hmm. Oh, I see what's about to happen here. I fear the window may be closing for you to find a suitable husband. I've arranged a dinner for you to meet my neighbor's son, Edward. He is successful in business in London. Your cousins, William and Thomas, may well aspire to become accomplished scientists, but for you, Arabella, it is better to make yourself useful in the small duties of life for which you will be loved and appreciated. Your studious nature will no doubt be valuable should you have a son, but it would be foolish to allow such folly to come before the important things in life. I am confident this is what your parents would have wanted. Dinner will be from 5 o'clock on Sunday. Remember to wear a becoming dress. Yours very sincerely, Agnes. <laughs> Bobby, thank you for the 11 months. Thank you, thank you. This month in conversation with Professor Montague, leading expert in British meadow orchids. In his words, every plant, every leaf, every meadow holds secrets waiting to be unlocked. My aim is to simply to uncover some of these mysteries. 
Professor John Montague, renowned botanist, sheds light on his groundbreaking work in the world of meadow orchids and, orchids and other botanical wonders. With decades of research and numerous publications to his name, Professor Montague's contributions to the field have been nothing short of revolutionary. Hmm. I mean, chat, I don't think you should take it personally that people in the 1800s were a little bit sexist. It's not, it's... Agnes is not a bad person. She's just a product of her time. It's gonna be okay, chat. It does not affect you in the here and now. You you will you will be okay. Hmm. <laughs> Brook Chalice. It's 25 degrees, right? I think. Hi, Teddy! It's going good! Uh-oh. Wait, I didn't water it. Even though I just put it in the bath, does it matter? Hmm. Wrong river. I guess. Let me just try again, just in case. Right, mine goes. Sure, but in, like, the context of living in the 1800s, she has- she knows nothing else. She has never been taught otherwise. And she does it from a place of concern that her, her, uh, someone she cares about is going to be alone, which, based on the way that she grew up, is apparently very bad. It is what it is. So it couldn't have been Kamchu or Summer. Barton Ironworks has been dumping scrap metal in rivers across Somerset. Oh! We're still researching what led to this effect. say here oh my goodness say happy birthday <laughs> chat make sure to wish say happy birthday can i dump it in here no This thing is from the Rusty Works. Yeah, both Barton Iron Works. So there was something that prevented the rust. Wow. Mm. Do it, man. Thank you so much for the 300 bits. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. 
Did I see the eclipse? It wasn't really a thing here. Like, very slightly, but not really. Yeah, this game is on Steam. to plants, moth poster, moth calendar, trapped moth, fairy painting. Oh, not right. Oh, sunset paintings. Mm. Ow. What was grandma's research? That was the fungi book. Which one was grandma's research? Crap. It was in the library. That ain't research. <laughs> Here we are. Why no streaming on Discord? Because I genuinely forgot to do it because it didn't used to be a manual thing. the fairy story twice. <laughs> yeah, very soon Skybot will return to us and everything will be good. Kind of fiddly. Yeah, so there were no weeds. Eighth uh, of August. Maybe what it was is the plant removed the rust pollution, which would mean that it was in the river from. Maybe the plant needs the rushed? Maybe, but that would mean it's still the river from, but that doesn't make any sense because 25 degrees is wrong. Yeah, 25 degrees is apparently incorrect. It can be used multiple times in a row without an extra cost. <laughs> Why are you like this, Brook Chalice? Twenty-five 
25 degrees is very hot for a British river, in fairness. <laughs> hmm. Kick in the water? I cannot. Oh, wait, yes, I can. Motherfucker! It didn't let me put it in before I put the water in there. I was trying earlier! That's so annoying! <laughs> The curse of this extremely specific input sequence strikes again. Like, I couldn't even just shove it in the bathtub, it was just non-interactable. Pretty plant, though. The plant, the plant naturally filters the water from rust and metal. Never have a bath again? Yeah. Looks nice though. <laughs> okay, what was the last one? Oh god. This one. <laughs> I'm going to get annoyed doing this one because it's all over the place. Let's see. Hummingbird, hawk moth. Trick flowers into blooming. What of loathing! Thank you for the four years! Thank you very much! Oh, does the game not have many reviews yet? That's such a shame because it's really, really good. <laughs> Moths in the attic. It did just come out, but I feel like only six reviews is kind of low. Got you, got you. Explain Buckshot Roulette to me. I went the wrong way. It's Roulette with Buckshot, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean in the sense that, like, what, what keeps people coming back to it? Frick, am I? <laughs> where, where it was it? She was in the library when she was studying. Oh, it's over here. Uh, flower opens at sunset. Only during a particular time of the year. I think this particular game would not be ideal to watch a stream of because the puzzle solutions are the puzzle solutions. Uh, where was the story? Here it is. Fairy painting, grandma's research. Where the heck was that fairy painting? <laughs> Wait, what's today? What's <laughs> today? Tuesday? Yes, I suppose it is. 
Sunset, 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 sunset. When was it though? Where the fuck is that fairy painting? <laughs> the fairy painting is in the corridor. In cor okay. That's intensely useful. Thank you. Which corridor? <laughs> There are many corridors. Oh, this one. The Trapped Fairy Painting. I need a date. Fairy has weird wings. Mm. It would annoy me if that was the solution rather than exact date. That's a very sp I'm gonna go see- hold on. Where is the- where's the moth thing? Hello moth? Hello moth? No, not that way. This way! This way! It's that one. It's the garden tiger moth. Chat, you are- If I look over at the chat and I see people actually posting the solution, thank god I didn't look over two seconds ago. I'm gonna get very upset at you. Why, why would, why, why would you come into a, a puzzle game and give the puzzle answer? <laughs> no oiling. Okay, so garden tiger moth. The solution is solving it? That sounds stupid. Garden tiger, September. Okay, so September mornings. Or oh, sorry, September September sunset. <laughs> uh, September blue, yellow, orange, red. Hey chat, don't forget blue, yellow, orange, red. Okay, okay. Yellow, orange, red. Project, project. suck to get stuck in a flower for the rest of the year. I mean, I guess it'd only suck very briefly and then you would be dead. Oh, and I have some carbonara to eat. Oh! 
Oh my god, a new delivery! What could it be? None of this is how real botany works? Are you sure? Are you sure that people didn't look at a painting taken from a myth that for some reason has a very specific set of moth wings and then cross-reference that with a chart of moth times? And use that to find out when the flower blooms? You silly! That's how it works! Formal garden. <laughs> Also, I don't think I've been filling out my maps. Oh, I have. me in. No, you don't understand. My book where I claim that playing bells at a flower made it bloom instantaneously and grow to full size, it's going to, like, revolutionize the industry. They're not gonna lock me away. Open an door. Oh, wait, no, this is my greenhouse. <laughs> Where is the formal garden? It might not actually tell me. Thirteen. Oh, I see. Quite a big map, yeah. And this is running speed. I could take it all at this speed. No, <laughs> oh, the garden. Oh, it must be nice to live so wonderfully. <laughs> I'm not upset. A gentleman farmer has reported sightings of mysterious blinking lights coming from the caves near his home in Cheddar. In his own words, I was walking my dog and lost track of time a little. It soon became dark and I decided to make the walk back home. On, my way to a ha on the way to my house is a tiny cave, and as I walked by I noticed a blinking light pattern cast from the ca cave entrance. I was sure it was one of those Morse code messages. When I approached the cave, the light source vanished and nobody was there. I'm convinced what I saw was the Morse code abbreviation for attention. <laughs> I will never forget that one abbreviation as it was the first message I learned in Morse code. Local authorities have assured our journalists that there have been no recent military activity or er exercises in the area. So the mystery remains unsolved. What? You think I will get to fill in this little, uh, section here? Why are the keys to this mansion being periodically delivered to me? I don't know. Apparently I was away for a while, but that's, that's no reason to drip feed me my keys. <laughs> the telegraph you ordered while you were at the f uh, arrived while you were at the farmer's market. They delivered it by boat. I left it at the boathouse since I didn't know where you'd like to keep it. There appears to be a Morse code manual inside the cases. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why does every puzzle game boil down to fucking Morse code? <laughs> I'm going to eat some more pasta. This makes me sad. Oh, 
Oh god. <laughs> hey Canadian Thor, welcome again. Can we get a shout out for Canadian Thor, please? Is my content 18 plus? Not explicitly. Occasionally I do the swears, occasionally I make a body joke, occasionally I'll play a game that's fairly mature themed, but I not specifically, you know. Do explicit streams of any kind. The method of communication over long distances must be selected according to the requirements of the scenario. If the message contains no sensitive information or there is no enemy presence within the communication area, an open method of communication such as telegraphy may be used. If open communication is permissible, both receivers may still benefit from the abbreviation of messages. See plate 2 for a, a table of commonly used military abbreviations using telegraphy and Morse code. Over. Out. In case of secrecy, both parties must have knowledge of the encryption method used. A brief history of long-range military communications. Water telegraphy and torch telegraphy. Smoke signaling beacons and pigeons. Murray shutter telegraph. Radiator telegraph. Morse code. Orbitron, thank you for the six months. Thank you, thank you. My sweet Hazel, are you keeping well today? Jimmy's only gone and broken the lawnmower again. If it weren't for my war injury, I wouldn't be letting him loose with the mower. He said he ran over some hard object down in the long grass near the pond. I had a brief look and couldn't see anything. Sometimes I wonder about that boy's sensibilities. Save me some of your lovely scones. Yours always, Mr. Bennett. Guano! Sorry. <laughs> Manure! Nice. Hot. New materials for garden pots. Terracotta and granite. Sandstone, marble, obsidian to suit all gardens. You can't just bring in different pots on the last section of the game. Anoth anthocyanin, which is a pigment that can change color depending on the pH level of its environment. The colors can vary between red, purple, and bl uh, blue. I, I almost said glue. <laughs> Hold on, getting spaghetti. I can't think of Guano without thinking of World of Warcraft quests and achievements. Bird! <gasps> hmm. Bird. was between a pH of zero and three. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Ring dot, so I need... Mr. Bennett, thank you so much for the lovely bunch of rhubarb from your nephew's garden. He needn't have sent anything in return for the herbal poultice I gave him for his little one, but I'm grateful all the same. I know he hasn't the money to fetch the doctor. Since you said he cannot read a note, please send him my thanks when you see him. Faithful yours, Hazel. Yeah, no, it's totally fine. Relicious, thank you for the 67 months. Thank you, thank you. 
I have, like, this ominous idea that I'm going to have to lead a bird through a garden. Oh god, yes! <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Hi, bird. Oh, you are not a real bird. Never mind. Fake bird. Love, Marius. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you and welcome. Garden birds. Oh my goodness, Bob Maris, thank you for gifting 10 subs. What the heck? Thank you very, very much. Welcome, welcome, everybody. <laughs> Get monetized, Bozo. That is a heck of a first time message. Thank you and welcome. <laughs> I think I get to the bird, uh, boathouse even. Oh, this looks likely. Pretty. Jeez. How much do you think you would pay for this house? In this day and age. It has like... So much land and then wanders off into the wilderness and the lake over there. <laughs> Field medic, thank you for getting us up to Barlow. Thank you, thank you. Dearest cousin, while I hold a deep fascination sorry, whilst I hold a deep fascination for the pursuit of knowledge and science, I must admit that the subject of spiritualism is not one that particularly captivates me. Therefore, I must return this book to you. However, I appreciate your efforts in sharing your interests with me. <laughs> with affection, Arabella. Glowing spirit of marshes, forests, and caves, the Will-o'-the-Wisp is an eerie apparition that has long since been the subject of both fear and fascination. It makes its appearance to lost travelers in dark, isolated places and beckons them to follow with its beguiling, blinking light. Many a wanderer has followed the Wisp's alluring light across marshes or into caves, never to be seen again. Take heed, those who venture into dark places, resist the temptation of the Will-o'-the-Wisp's shimmering radiance. Turn back before it is too late. What the fuck? No, 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 I didn't want to sit down. I want to- I just want to drop this thing. I cannot drop it anywhere. Help! Dapian! Thank you for gifting us up to 350 cent! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Pretty. I got an achievement for looking at every painting in the game. Oh my god, their property extends to the fucking lake. <laughs> yeah, okay. Must be nice. It's actually a river. <laughs> I don't know why my aunt is so worried. Apparently, like, even in this day and age, Arabella don't need no husband. She's fucking set. <laughs> And thank you for gifting us up to Alistair. Thank you, thank you. Hold on. I'm eating a piece of bacon. Or pancetta or whatever this is. Can you have some? Yes, you may. Oh. 
Okay. Duck! <gasps> I got an achievement for inspecting all the ducks! I eat during stream quite often, because otherwise I wouldn't have time to eat. domesticated and wild. Stoat detected. Hi, Ravenhawk. Squirrel. Mole. Gray squirrel. Hedgehog. Rabbit. Shuffle the food cards and place the stack face down in the center of the board. Place the food tokens around the food cards on the board. Place the animals on the start tile. Players choose their animal by rolling the dice. The highest roller chooses first. Take turns to roll a dice and move your animal along the woodland path. The, hi the highest roller goes first. If you land on a food tile, pick up a food card. If your animal matches the card, you can collect the token specified on the food card. <laughs> if you land on a gray squirrel tile, it steals all of your food tokens and they must return to the board. <laughs> this game fucking hates gray squirrels. Random, thank you for the 11 months. Thank you, thank you. The player who has the most food tokens in their nest at the end of the game is the winner. Woodland cards, rabbit, woodmouse, red squirrel, field cards, red squirrel, animal cards, hedgehog, mole, meadow cards, rabbit, wood, wood mouse, mole. Wait, so it just kind of sucks to be a hedgehog? Because you only have like one thing that you can pick. Collect three tokens. Collect four tokens. Collect zero tokens. Collect two tokens. This is fun. I, I won. Weeds can take over an area quite rapidly. Some weeds have adapted in order to spread their seeds as far away as possible. The plant itself does not have much control over this, but trusts nature to lend a helping hand. Wood avens and goose grass have seeds with a hook designed to attach to the fur of passing animals. They are carried and dropped up to several miles away. Dandelions have, have seeds with an attached feathery puff that allows them to be carried far, by the wind to a faraway location. Other plants, such as lords and ladies, wrap their seeds in an attractive berry, which birds consume and then later deposit as, a w as waste a great distance away. A final, more mysterious example is the seed of the ocelet. It is known to be picked up by critters who take it back to their nest. As soon as the animal goes to sleep, the seed sprouts into bloom. It is not quite understood how the plant is able to detect when the creature is asleep.
Riding in the car months to pull me at the delivery date for the school supplies. Very good. Redeem isn't working? Uh, it should be none of them? They're connected. Have any of them worked? Some, some just get eaten. I'm sorry, I don't know why it does that, and the only other option is just not to have them, which would be sad. What's the FF streamer run? Who is this game? Speak your cozy. Very cozy. It's about growing plants. Via the solving of puzzles. Fool's Emerald. Okay, so I need to go to the side terrace. Terrace is 20. Oh, okay. Up there. The marvel of bioluminescence. In the darker corners of our world, there are plants and organisms that are able to produce their own light. These plants, fungi, and insects are most often found in areas of low light, such as dark forests, deep oceans, and gloomy caves. Recent discoveries show that the chemicals, such as luciferin, are responsible for this glowing effect. It is not known what this glowing effect is used for, but it could be for, some co for communication with others of the same species or to attract pollinators or food. Scientists believe that there are many bioluminescent bio species waiting to be discovered. Shadow. Oh. St. John's wort. I remember St. John's wort is a plant you're not supposed to take supplements of if you're on like a bunch of different medications. Dearest Arabella, I was delighted after our recent mentoring session. You do excellent work as a fellow scholar of the natural world. I recall the spring dance shrub that once grew in your garden before you departed on your travels. How wonderful it would be to see it growing again. I've been compiling plant specimens that require pollination to mature into its adult into their adult stage. I wonder if the spring dance shrub is one of these plants. Ever your affectionate friend, Lavinia. Oh, I hit the Q again. Yeah, I remember you can use it for mood. Uh, 
Where the heck is Folly? <laughs> Telegraph? What? Oh! Note about telegraph. This is actually stressful because it doesn't keep the information. You can't just go review all of it. I have to walk around finding things. And then getting confused because I don't remember which piece was pertained to what. Uh, I left it by the boathouse. I don't even remember why Morse code is relevant. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Pie Fudge. Thanks for being here. Do 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 ba 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 da pew ba da do da do do I don't know why, but I've suddenly started hitting Q to move backwards and forwards between pages. <laughs> it's very annoying. Uh Oh yeah, no, if I could live in this house and all of my expenses were taken care of, life would basically just be finished. Like, li li life is one. There is no further need to worry. All is good now. What the fuck is this for? I never figured out what this was for. I'll go there. Oh. Oh Christ, what? Oh no. I'm a good Morse coder. What is this? Why is this here? Do do de do do do. Duper D duper saying. Animal heartbeat. Weeds on seat. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about with expenses. If all my expenses are taken care of, other people just make the house look nice for me. Edison Standard Phonograph. Oh, 
Oh my god, am I going to have to use Morse code to make the heartbeat of an animal to make the fucking plant grow? HTML, thank you for reading. <laughs> Uh, oh, did I never water the frick? Fuck. Okay, hold on. I never found the telegraph, though. It said it was by the boathouse. Hello, telegraph? Hello? Oh, sorry, I'm getting telegraph mixed up with telegram. I'm okay, I'm awake. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so I need to... Woodland, rabbit, wood mouse, red squirrel. Red squirrel, meadow. Oh, it's a field card, so I need the red squirrel! And the red squirrel's heartbeat is 120 BPM. <laughs> now I have to figure out how to do 120 BPM in Morse code. Good. Wait, didn't it say that there was a manual on how to Morse code? Oh well. How hard could it be, right? Oh, there it is. Hmm. Seriously, what the fuck is this thing? This doesn't seem right. <laughs> It's, it's just... Yeah, I can do doots and dots. Maybe I just need to find <laughs> a piece of music that plays at 120 BPM. Wait, will it actually? Oh my god, it does! <laughs> Beautiful! Hey! <laughs> I didn't have to do it at all! I fucking hate Morse code. I'm awful at it. Picked up by small animals such as the red squirrel who then stored inside their nest. Once the animal falls asleep, the oscillate depends on the heartbeat vibrations to break open and bloom. Easy game. I mean, I guess this has to be. What was the fucking news article about? God knows. Uh. Let's see. Bird seeds, bird poster. Uh. Hot catalog? Hey! Got him. And then this one will be. The Morse code flower. <laughs> okay, so I need plant, plant, uh... Come here. Seriously though, what was that fucking lever for? We don't know. Can you just honk at me, Leon? Don't honk at me. Hi, Jock. There's nowhere to put this box. Oh. Eh. 
Do you think that I can fix this this water so that it becomes good again? I see something in there. I actually meant to hit the button that time. Um Three is the entrance garden. So that wait, eighteen is the grotto. Twenty is the side toes. Wait, that's the entrance. Does that mean on the other side of the grotto is the drawing room? So there's something in there. Look at it. Look at it being all grotto-y. I'm suspicious. Wait, so that's the drawing room. Wait, is it? That's the dining room. And then this is the drawing room, which I can't fucking see. I presume I've been in there. But how do I get down here? <gasps> wait, 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 wait! <gasps> Pull the lever, limes! I'm gonna get it. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm gonna put the thing in the thing. Why do we even have that leather? You're a crank. Da 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 Do I get a magical bridge now? Oh! A magical bridge made of lily pads? Yeah, boy. <laughs> it's really dark in here. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to do the plant. Okay. I see. Okay, which one do I need? I need... Emerald fool. And then I need to place it in here. And then what do, what do I need to do with it? Hold on. <laughs> it is a chill puzzle game, yeah. Uh military codes apparently. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, no, I fucked up! I'm so sorry, Fool's Emerald, I have betrayed you! Eh, <laughs> you're dead. I'll just pop that there. Um... Um... Wait... Plant chemicals, pigment research, soil pH... Oh no, did I do it again? Oh no, I did! I betrayed him! He didn't need the... That was the other one! The other one needed it! I killed him for no reason! <laughs> I did it again! <laughs> I am the worst! Luciferian... Um... I'm not sleepy, I'm just kind of like... After puzzling for like three hours, I'm kind of puzzled out. Just losing concentration a little bit. Hmm. 
I need a news article. Gardening workspace? <laughs> Where is that? Oh, attention. I need to make attention in Morse code. Oh, no. <sighs> okay, okay, I, I can do this. Does that bring me to life? No, of course not. That would be very silly. I'm gonna code so freaking hard. Open the coder. Okay, so it's dot beep. You know. <laughs> Ooh. Plants yearn for the morse. The Fool's Emerald is a vine that contains Luciferian, which allows it to create light. They grow in caves where they use the light to communicate with each other, very much like Morse code. Okay, and now the last plant. Which one do I need? Which one is the gardening workspace again? Hot catalog. Oh. Red, purple, and blue. Yeah, but which color do I want it to be? <laughs> Shut up, Lamy Bot. Like, I get how I'm supposed to mix things, but is there a particular color the game wants me to make? in the mentoring of aspiring botanists. Botany is a field that demands a thorough understanding of complexities. While I admire your dedication, the saying, bl the blind leading the blind does come to mind. Well, just aside, I do hope your endeavors in mentoring will yield some semblance of progress. Thanks, Professor Thornton. You dick. Hmm. Robin. Robin's like red flowers. Okay. So, I need red. Yeah, I'll go based on the, f the, the bird rather than the flower.
I get it. Okay, 12 to 14. I need sandstone and seaweed. I freaked the bird out. No, he's good. Hey, it's Hawks! This is sandstone working. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Sandstone, terracotta, granite, marble, yep. Yeah. Put the seaweed in the pot. Oh, no, I need the thing first. You look like sand! Okay, now it's white. And then I add seaweed. And it becomes red! Oh! And now I place the shrub over here. Why do I have to leave the bird all the way? Can I not just put this near the bird? <laughs> Whatever. There. like it when you get too close, so you have to be careful where you are traveling. Like, if I walk right by it, it'll get upset. I think even that might be too close, so I'm gonna go around, just in case. bird pollinate it <gasps> I did it <gasps> finish to the gatehouse. What could be there? It wasn't a delivery. Arabella, I apologize wholeheartedly for accidentally taking the key to the formal gardens home with me. It was in my pocket, and I had simply forgotten it was there. I didn't want to disturb your research, so I've left the key in the basket here for you. From Jimmy. That's not what they meant. I don't think that's what they wanted me to find. Oh! Post it! <gasps> 
I'm gonna get published. Hopefully they don't assume I'm a lunatic. <laughs> Yay! What a nice game. will finally give me the motivation to go and finish unpacking. <laughs> Many thanks to Wholesome Games in the Tentacle Zone. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. What do you mean, what? It said that right there. I was just reading it. <gasps> One year later. Presented to Lady Arabella Green by the Women's Education Union on the occasion of her opening the Green School of Botany! <gasps> I changed the world in a year! Ceremonial key. Er... Oh, I have students. That's nice. Specifically, a teacher's apple. Yeah. I got my students. My dearest Flora, I'm terribly sorry your herbarium didn't get picked up for publishing, although I am most excited about your new plans to turn Botany Manor into a bot botanical academy. I look forward to visiting the school and meeting the talented students you have taken under your wing. Let's hope they carry in on our fight. Lots of love, Elizabeth. P.S. Arabella, I hope you don't mind me still calling you by our by your childhood pet name. <laughs> oh, and it's called Forgotten Flora. That's so nice. So we didn't get published, but we did manage to open a school. That's nice. What was the name of the one student at the end? Thomasina? No, we don't lose the house. We opened it up as a school. I have a feeling floor was mentioned a few times and I didn't pick up on it and that would have been a revelation, but I don't remember anymore. All right, let's go. Oh, I did not get to dink dunk my way into school. Hmm. Thomasina? Yeah, that's a real name. Hmm. Put it on the, the lectern? You can't move it. All I can do is rotate it. Oh, you mean the book. Okay. <laughs> Yay! 
Beat game. <laughs> Fiji tips or Yorkshire? I don't drink tea. <laughs> I drink like some uh, herbal teas, like Chinese tea. Yay, we did it! Good job, everybody. That was nice. I like that a lot. Excellent game. Did you like it too, Leon? I heard you honking. Honk once if you approve. He just looked at me like I was crazy. What the hell? Judgmental dog. Disable automatic breathing and blinking. I'm pretty sure it is disabled, my dude. What's up? Wait, do you mean in real life? Wait, no! <laughs> you fuck? Well, that was like a VTuber thing, but no. Instead, I have been tricked. I have been cruised. I have been rused. Yeah, because you can actually disable and enable that on, on a VTuber. So I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I have a Pomeranian. I have two Pomeranians, actually. The stream is over? No, but how would you feel if you guys sat here while I chilled out and talked to you and installed more Stardew mods? Because <laughs> I want them. 